practice, sorry, in the exhibition game. Just one game tonight, but I'm expecting to score 100 points every night, but do you think this is the type of offense that you should be able to put on the, on the court most nights? For sure. Uh, we knew going in that we were going to be able to right. score and get what we wanted offensively, but it's the defense side that we got focused on now. You know, we got Tennessee coming in on Friday, so we just got to tighten up things on defense, you know, play get in the gas better and rebound a lot better. So I think that's what we got to tighten up on and, and stop fouling. We fouled way too much tonight, so. Chucky, today, 20 points, six assists. It seemed like in the first half you were looking to pass the ball a lot. Second half, in, in the early stretch, you scored. How do you look to improve your decision making? And overall, how has kind of the involvement of your team's offense this year helped you in getting comfortable? Sure. Um, you know, I kind of noticed that. Um, that I get going by just kind of easing my way into it. Uh, last year I tried to force force way too much, especially early into the game. So you know I just gotta let things flow flow into it. You know, get the offense going. You know uh, AJ had it going on in the first half, and that's what we love. We wanted to see, and you know just get the ball moving fast enough. You know keep pushing up the court, and that's what we want to do offensively. Right in the middle, guys. Chucky, on that note, I mean, it, it seemed like, you know, once you settled in, in, in the exhibition too, you kind of went to the isolation a few possessions in a row, you know, trying to get some points, I guess, in bunches, I guess. Like, what are you looking for on those multiple looks in a row, and I guess how you feel like those isolation looks are going? For sure, you know, uh, the defense uh, expects me to kind of be that main scorer, but me, uh, I'm just a, a facilitator at first, and, you know, when the defense kind of light, lightens up, I kind of get that uh, feeling, and I'm able to attack and catch them off guard and get downhill, and that's why I feel a lot better this year. I'm more athletic, more quicker, you know, can get by defenders and finish above the rim. Chuck, on the back. Max, I'm not sure if Surprise is the right word, but that's the word I'm going to use. Are you surprised at how well you guys played as far offensively and put up 105 points? It's a new record for the Colt Center. It had to be pretty exciting for you guys to keep seeing the ball go in. Yeah, I mean, I would say a little surprised by the 105, but not surprised by by it happening, really. Uh, just through working in the offseason in the summer, you could feel it through the whole whole time. There's just a different sense of urgency this year, different sense of we got to go get it. Um, so, you know, coming out here for the first game, we were all ready to go. So uh, maybe the number 105, when you look at it, it's a little surprising. But when you put all the work and things that go into it, it makes sense. Let's go ahead, Max, I think a majority of the guys who scored in the first half had at least one bucket in the paint. What does that do when it's just not the forwards scoring down low, but it's everybody was? And how, how much more diverse does that make you guys offensively? Yeah, like I think you really see it in the second half, what they had to go to. They went to a lot of one through five switching and just caused a lot of chaos with them in the first half just in terms of our guards being able to cut hard, get to the block, and be able to score inside, which is going to open stuff up then for our fives when they get on the block as well. So I think, you know, just making an effort to get there, attack the rim early, get to the free throw line, parade there like we always say and always want to do. But I think it opens up all the options for us once our guards start getting down there and being physical. Yeah. For John or, or Max, really, just when – you know, Chucky's got it going in the second half, or AJ early, and you guys are playing with that type of pace. Just how does it help? You know, you guys find your looks, each respectively, uh, finishing in double digits, not missing a field goal, and then just, you know, how does that kind of put extra pressure on the defense collectively? Go ahead, Spencer. I would say um, once Chucky or AJ gets going, um, defense start to focus more on them, and you just get good looks out of that because they both know how to create options for. Or um, looks for us. Um, I'll say that. Yeah, I would say you know you can just feel it once Chuck kind of gets it going. He knows he's got a matchup that he likes. He can get to the front of the rim, start making plays for other for others, and you can just feel his sense of the takeover kind of asserting himself more. Um, which just I mean, playing with him on the floor, that's all you could ask for, obviously. And uh, that's that's the two the two three we get all the time. So. Got a question here, and then one more in the back for John. John, coming in, you know, a lot was made of your defense, obviously, but 12 points off the bench, I believe. Did you expect to be this involved early uh, offensively, and, you know, what allowed you to score so much tonight? Uh, I just let the game come to me. I didn't force anything. Um, I don't think I took a dribble for my points, but it was just uh, catch and shoot, cutting back door, like simple stuff. 
um, that I really didn't have in high school. I was mostly ball dominant. But coming here, I learned to, you can score without the ball really well. Um, and I just came in the game focused on my defense, not turning the ball over and playing hard. But the, the scoring just comes naturally when you play hard. Yeah, Chuck, okay, you had a start as a freshman. John's not going to be starting, at least for now. But when you when he first got here, what did you know about him? What did you think about his game? And what do you think about him today? For sure. Um, you know, I always knew the, the type of player he was coming in. You know, uh, we played open gym with him as, when he was a junior in high school. So I knew the type of player he was. You know, so the advice I gave him, just when he gets on the court, play hard on defense. You know, don't make too many mistakes. You know, don't turn the ball over. And that's that's how you're going to find your way on the court. And that's what he did. And that's what he does very well. I've got one more question for the players right here. Uh, Max, uh, there's only 12 three pointers today, which, you know, from the last year would have been unheard of. I mean, I guess, you know, is, is that going to be something that it's a trend going forward? Or is that just sort of how the game fell? Uh, I, mean, I think that's kind of how the game kind of played itself out a little bit. We knew we had a lot of we had matchups at our four or five three position where we could pop the ball inside, get at the rim, uh, and we really I mean that's where you want to start is getting into the paint, get stuff at the rim. It opens up the perimeter then for us later in the first half, and then going into the second half too. So, um, yeah, that, I mean that's that's kind of what I got with that.